Hey guys, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Sam and come here and welcome back to another chess roots video guys. So today I'm going to be showing you an awesome route for Erda Source. It's not the best route, it has two tier twos on it, but it is one of the more uncommon routes that not many people take, if any, because I made it up myself. Uh, so it's very low risk but it's very kind of high reward so hopefully you guys should enjoy this remember to leave a like if it helps you and subscribe to the channel for more daily survival games videos and yeah that's about it enjoy the video all right guys so we're in the map right here and first thing you want to do is obviously open your f3 menu up and you want to be heading west uh which is sort of below that little bridge if you don't if you don't want to bother opening your f3 menu it's just up here past the campsite uh but before you do that obviously you want to just go into spawn, get your chests and stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, then you want to head on the route. So you want to head west and you want to head up towards this campsite. Uh, and your first tier one is right here inside this little uh, white tent. It will be here sometimes. Obviously, hive chests are random. Uh, so, well, tier ones are. Uh, and then you want to he head up here and there's another tier one right there sometimes. Uh, so that's already two tier ones right there. Maybe you have a weapon by now. Most probably you do. So then you want to head up here, and you see these vines on the uh, on the mountainside. You want to head straight up for them, and you want to climb up these. And this is a little Easter egg, guys. Sort of. I mean, it's hidden. Uh, you want to break these leaves right here, and there's gonna be a little room. Uh, this is your first tier two right there. Tier two right there on the wood. And there's also a tier 1 here sometimes. So already I think tier uh, 3 tier 1s and a tier 2. So then you want to head back down here. Now this part of the route is optional uh, because it doesn't give you any tier 2s. Uh, but it can give you quite a few tier 1s. You can actually uh, parkour over this lava right here. It's pretty simple parkour. You, it is a little bit risky I guess but it's fine. And basically there was a button on this wall pretty hidden. But there is a button, just press that, it'll open a door. And there could be up to three tier ones in this room. So it's definitely worth it. And then to get back out, you just press that button. And then uh, park all your way back out. So that's another three tier ones if you want it. Uh, after that, you want to head up here to this kind of house type looking thing. And I believe there will be a chest like right here. So there will be a tier one right here sometimes. I just forgot to add it in. But uh, then you want to head up here. And there is a tier 1, the other side of the fountain, uh, right there. There's actually no uh, chest inside the fountain. Uh, I don't know why, but there just isn't. But anyways, then you want to head through this main gate, guys, where there will be a tier 1 right here. Uh, so that's another tier 1. Quite a lot of tier 1s on this route so far. Then you want to turn down here, down the courtyard. And there's another tier 1 right here. And then there is another tier 1 right there. So lot of tier ones then you want to head into this room go and pick up this another tier one right here uh very quickly before you go down the other side of the room and we're actually going to head up that staircase in a minute but before you do that there can be up to two tier ones in this room right here which is uh very good and then you want to head up this staircase after you got them and you want to head up these staircases again and this is where you're going to find your second tier 2, which is over there. Uh, there's a tier 1 here as well. So a lot of people are actually unaware of how you get to that tier 2 over there. But basically you wanna, what you want to do is just walk uh, through this gate onto the scaffolding. And then jump around onto this wood block. And then you'll be able to get it from down here. And that is your second tier 2 on the route, guys. The last tier 2 as well. Because I wanted to find a route that obviously wasn't very popular. But after you get that tier 2 you want to jump back down here and then you want to head down this way and there are a few tier 1s here there's one up there as you walk out the main gate and there are a ton of tier 1s out here so first you want to go over here uh, and get this tier 1 and then around here there's another tier 1 and then you want to head around back here and I'm going to show you guys where another few tier 1s are the other side. Uh, there is one here that you can get up there. Uh, and also guys, just if you go around the back here, there's a little kind of like rabbit hole type thing. I like to call it. Uh, there's another tier 1 around here if you don't have enough loot already. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the chest route guys. A lot of tier 1s and 2 tier 2s. I know it's not the best route on this map, but it's like it's one that isn't very popular. And I thought I, I would show you guys one of those because they are kind of helpful. 
uh, if you go on a route that not many people go on. Uh, it's less risky and it's still pretty high reward. I mean, two tier twos is pretty good for a chest route on this map. But if you did enjoy, guys, remember to leave that like down below uh, and subscribe for more chest routes like this. And uh, yeah, we will see you in the next episode.